So for skyboxes, if you're going to do some uh, realistic outdoor lighting, that's what you're going to use. And there's two different kinds of skyboxes. 2D skyboxes, which are far more simple, than, uh, but also a, a little bit more limited, than 3D skyboxes, which is the other type, which um, almost all professional maps um, use 3D skyboxes to give the illusion of uh, objects like buildings and stuff in the background. Um, but for right now, we're just going to do a 2D skybox. I plan on doing a tutorial on 3D skyboxes later. The light um, from a... Um, there we go. Uh, so if you do want to make some outdoor lighting, the light is going to actually come from this virtual skybox. I'm going to select all four of my walls here, the big walls, that are enclosing the map, and I'm going to cut them just a little bit. If you remember how to do this, it doesn't matter really where. I just want to get some, uh, let's see here. I just want to get some more um, sky area. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second here. Okay. So pull up, um, click on your toggle texture application tool, and this will pull up the face edit sheet uh, dialog box here. So we're going to hit Browse and look for some textures. Type in Skybox. And, well, hold on, that's not it. Div, er, tools, let's see here. Here we go, type in Tools. And these will come up with a whole bunch of um, kind of special textures uh, that we'll get to more in a moment. Things like no draw, clip, player clip, uh, hint, skip, and area portal we'll get to later. But right now we're just going to do skybox. So click on the skybox here, or double click, and that'll make it selected. Now you can apply the skybox texture to any of your, um, any of your uh, faces here. So I'm going to put skybox texture all along the ceiling by right clicking and then a skybox texture along the top part of the walls that I cut. So now you can kind of see what we're what we're getting at. It kind of looks like our level now is um, looks like it's taking place in like a big arena, kind of a bowl, and then this is the sky up here. Alright. The skybox only tells the computer, well, that's where um, that's where we're going to apply whatever skybox texture we're going to have. It's not going to look like this um, skybox writing and blue. It's going to actually pick up an actual texture from your um, from your files and then put that in place of this skybox texture. You can modify that by going to edit or um, go to map map properties and that'll select all of your map and the entire map properties um, are listed here like um, just global properties here you'll see skybox texture name and then this is the name of the skybox texture that it's going to be using in this case I think the default is sky day 0101 um, this is fine but I'd like to just change it to something else so you know how to change it. So if you can, pull up your internet browser. Whoa. And um, you can go to this website right here. If you can't see it, I will um, post a link in the uh, YouTube tutorial. It's uh, developer.valvesoftware.com slash wiki slash skylist. If you don't already know about the Valve developer community, this is an incredible resource, and it's one of the few resources online. Um, like it's kind of a professional API for, um, yeah, uh, or documentation for the, uh, for the Hammer uh, editor. So in this page, it's got a whole list of the skies that you can use in your game. There's no uh, drop-down box in your uh, hammer to select a sky, so you have to manually type each of these in. So I'm going to go f down here and find some Team Fortress 2 skies. Uh, well, 
Let's do the granary sky. Sky underscore granary underscore 01. And keep in mind this information right here. So I'm going to go back to map properties, sky, change this to granary 01, click apply. And Okay, so this will this will change our texture from whatever sky um, whatever we had before that to the sky as it appears in the granary map for Team Fortress 2. Get out of there. And another thing you should add. No, I already put it in there. I'm gonna take it out so I can show you how to add it. Go under Entities, then do ENV or no, type in light and then select light environment and then just click anywhere on the map and it looks like a little sun right click it to bring up the properties um, the thing, the values here such as pitch will give you I mean it, it gives you a good uh, description here, the downward pitch of the light from the sun, the brightness of how of uh, the light that's shining in from essentially the skybox, the ambient light, and if you're using HDR, which I'm not going to go over during this tutorial, but maybe in a different tutorial, um, then you can modify these values also. If you go back to your sky list, and then you can see CP granary, well, the ideal sun angle is 0, 130, 0, so I'm going to plug that in, or the pitch is negative 15. So type that in. The brightness is 255, 226, 196, 226, 196, and what's the 500? And then the ideal ambience, I'm just going to copy and paste this value right here. Copy, paste. So, of course, you don't have to use these values, but um, those are the values that Valve came up with for um, the maps that they made, and I see no reason why you shouldn't if you don't feel like it. But you can monkey with these colors if you like, and uh, it'll produce a different look of the light that's coming in from the skybox. So after all that's done, click apply, save, and then I'm going to try running one more time.